All right, guys. As you can see, we have two motors. Tacon. This one is <clears throat> 2400 kV, 16 turn, made in China. And this one is 19 kV. It's a one eighth scale. Let's try from the smaller one. And uh, of course, it's always a pain to open it. That's just normal. This one <coughs> will perfectly will perfectly fit Traxxas uh, motors, 24 kV, 26, 48. Uh, this is 10 and 12 scale motor, and uh, it's nice and heavy to the touch. Uh, um, I don't think it's waterproof because the shaft is right there in the back and it turns and there's a wheel bearing back there but uh, these usually aren't problems there aren't any screws to mount in this so we might have to look for screws uh, I have some stainless steel from uh, my fifth scale so Maybe I'll be lucky enough to find something. We'll see. <clears throat> These connectors are 3.5 millimeters, which will fit your uh, VXL uh, electric system uh, input. Um, this one is 4 millimeters input that will not fit your traxxas and uh, um, <clears throat> it will fit your castle creations i mean i don't know if you really want to run it it's a two turn this was an intention to use with uh uh villenium system not really castle creations because it's a it's a two pole motor rather than four um no big deal We'll see how that works. I mean, you can always go to Happy Wing and uh, get an uh, electric system for this motor and see what's up. It is pretty big. Um, I think 99.9% .9 it will fit the uh, transmission in the back from uh, Stampede and Slash. Not 4x4, four 2x4. Four, so we'll go from there. But ba go back to this one, it feels nice, smooth. I don't know how long it's going to last. The uh, the brushed one from Slash, it burned out, so it's done. But these connectors are exact 3.5 millimeter connectors for the uh, Traxxas or Slash uh, electric system. Uh, you get your bullets over here to hook it up to your uh, speed control and see how that's gonna work so we're gonna put that away and we uh, this this both of these motors cost me altogether shipping and handling $59 shipping and handling was free so <clears throat> it was it was $59 to get this shipped I don't like to have the motor that way I will have the motor this way and of course it's not for show, but it does look nice. And we'll put it back together. And put it this way. Now there's the beast. My wife already said, what the heck is that? <laughs> oh, it is what it is, my friends. <coughs> ah, this thing is huge. And there is the Tacon. This is the eight scale. 3674 1900 kV uh, it's a beast feels like a beast it both of them do 4s lipo 4s so this is this is a pretty nice uh, neat I believe this is uh, a can of uh, 360 large not 550 or 580 so it's a small motor it's considered for the 10 and 12 but again 4s 
I'm expecting good Turk out of it. I read good reviews. I'm back to the Beast. Nice quality can. Um, not really sure what the screws. I personally think they should uh, give you the screws with the motor because it, it just doesn't make sense. They know I have to uh, hook it up to something, but they don't. You know, screws are what, maybe two dollars uh, for a set of, of you know two let's just say still making money off of it so they, 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 they should give you uh, some sort of screws now on the other hand as I can see there is oh sorry there is a uh, a gap yes there is there is a gap I don't think this 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 thing yeah, this these things are waterproof there's your shaft uh, I know they are not that proof, dust proof also. I'm assuming they are not, but you know, it's good to assume and later just come out with a, uh, you know, screwed up, burned out motor. Now these, on the other hand, are four millimeters. So they are 4.0, the other one is 3.5. Now, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do this for, for the sake of YouTubers. I'm gonna open this guy. Shoot, excuse me, and I'm going to compare these that way. All right. So on the left hand side, you got your you got your 3.5. On the right hand side, you got your 4.0. That's us per the uh, specs on a web. Okay. I think I believe this is. Uh, um, I forgot what what website got this from. Um, but uh, it's a it's a great deal, twenty three dollars and thirty four. It's like really really cheap. Uh, you can't go wrong with that. Again, fifty nine dollars. So just just thirty dollars and thirty dollars. So <clears throat> so this is four millimeters. The shaft the shaft is exposed. Unlike the Vilenium, it's covered back here. I don't know if that's a big issue or not. <clears throat> Villenium should be or is. I haven't had any problem. Uh, waterproof. This one it doesn't even specify if it's waterproof or not. Uh, why is it very stiff? That that will be a negative thing. So that's why they have bent it this way, because they figure you uh, connect into the system that way and you run your lead to your electric system. Which I had to buy extension cables. I will later go downstairs to my basement and. Uh, Hook this up. Problem is my Castle Creations. It's a four pole. This is a uh, <coughs> two pole again. But what I will do is I will. I'm, I'm gonna wait for the uh, uh, adapters. I bought adapters going from 4.0 to 3.5, and hook this up to Valenium. Again, Valenium is a great system. It's a uh, LiPo 3. It uh, it will pull very easily since this is rated at 4S uh, LiPo 4. Uh, Villenium should not have a problem of uh, pulling this. Uh, the rear end is going to be a little bit heavier, but this is a 19 kV. Um, with a 3S, this thing is going to stay nice and cool. Um, again, um, I gotta see because these things they have. <laughs> They have two different diameters, of course that's what I was worried about, so I'm not sure how am I going to set this with this. It's a, it's a funny situation, but yeah, these are two different diameters, and uh, not sure how I, will how I will install this, not really sure. Uh, not sure if I'm going to be able to install this. And, uh, the transmission it's uh, yeah, well kind of sucks I just noticed that right now that these diameters are much bigger and not sure how you install it but worry about it later I know that uh, we'll be able to modify uh, something if it's necessary to change it but you know this one this one you know it should be Okay, but this one I think I went went ahead and just drastically bought it. I mean, I like the size of the can. 
but uh, um, yeah, well, you know, we'll, we'll see now. I worry about the diameter, but um, yeah, it kind it kind of sucks, you know, because you're gonna mess it up and everything. So I don't know if this is gonna work or not. But uh, <clears throat> I have two motors. I know that uh, Titan uh, 10 or you know, whatever 12 turns burned out on me, so I will have to replace. I would have to replace that, so I'm not really sure if this this guy is gonna get in to the play or not. But these these are the motors, Tacon and uh, um, you know Slash Slash doesn't have the uh, capability of going this way and that way. I'm doing what review, honey. Doing? doing review, honey. See? Oh, reviews. Yes, reviews. So you know we'll see. Like I said, these these diameters are two different diameters. I love yeah. painting. Good, keep painting on it, but you don't oh, paint the house. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I, I knew that the can is going to bigger or smaller, whatever it is. Um, I can see the uh, wires inside. I don't, I don't like that. With the lenium, you cannot see the uh, wires, but. Uh, um, We'll see. I gotta bring the volume and see, or I'll just see how this is going to go. But what I can, this is what I can do. I can pretty much, <coughs> excuse me. Sure. Uh, I can keep this. I don't know. Maybe I can keep this at a at an adjustment shaft and just make a hole on the top because all the motor has to do is go left. And right mm -hmm. to set the mesh. <laughs> so what I'm saying is, where you have the uh, groove to go forward and backwards, and you have the screw um, attached where it just, you know, keeps the motor happy and stable. I can do that, mm -hmm. and uh, do the same thing over here. Um, well, you know, it's funny because maybe the screws that Castle Creation has, which I don't want to use. Uh, will fit here, or maybe the one that Valenium has, which might fit to this one. I'm not really sure. But uh, again, maybe I'll just uh, will uh, attach it, attach it with this top, let it sit stable, and this one to your mesh. You know, I'm hoping for that. So, I get, well, see, I got, I got to, I got to, you know, try it myself and go downstairs and see how it goes. But you guys know how the uh, transmission looks. The transmission looks where the uh, bottom screws will slide to adjust the mesh, and the top screws uh, get to be uh, tightened and uh, secure the motor inside, so it doesn't doesn't uh, force itself back and forth back and forth and changes the mesh they just had set <coughs> so this is the uh, 96m215 but on the website they go with 367419kv and uh, this one is the uh, 96m282 is that the one 96m282 96m okay this is a 215282 and that's a 2848 uh, 24 kV pole. Alright guys, so uh, <clears throat> I will, I just did a review and um, I will do my initial, oh, wow, these, these are big difference, my initial review uh, once I have used them, I'm not sure if I'm going to use this one, in a minute honey, I'm not sure, if, I'm not sure if I'm going to use this one, if it's easy to uh, install it, I will, if it's not, if I have to modify uh, you know, my transmission uh, out of where I might actually leave it for later. Good thing is this is 5 millimeter, big difference, and this is uh, 1.8. Uh, one, I'm sorry, 1.8, uh, 3.17. So, 5 millimeters, 3.17, which is standard 48-pitch uh, uh, gears from Traxxas or any other vehicle, and this is... Uh, 5.0, which is your modification, what, my one, two, I'm going to use uh, <clears throat> 
0.08 mod on uh, this motor, but you can use the mod one. As long as you have five millimeter uh, gear, you can squeeze it on there. And here you need to uh, 3.17 uh, millimeter. So I'm going to finish this down. And uh, as you can see, it's different. Um, this can, you can, I guess, rebuild it. This can does not have any screws, so I am hoping that I will be able to rebuild this this motor because it has the screws to remove it, and this one doesn't. So this one, if it burns, it burns. And again, these are cheap motors. So, <clears throat> although I heard and I saw lots of great reviews on it, so don't don't get fooled when you when you get something extremely cheap and uh, then uh, you know with some people thirty dollars is cheap for some people thirty dollars is a lot but I just don't like the fact that these these things are open over here you know maybe we'll stick in shulu make a little you know a little bit bulletproof because um, I don't like that the water goes in there really quick and the shaft is not covered here maybe you can work with that and uh improve it somehow but anyway let me get out of here guys it's already 16 minutes to a video but these are your tacons and uh you gotta make a decision what you know what you like um again with this the uh dimensions are way way off from this one so uh um we'll see we'll see i'm, I'm not being really positive about this I might actually just be stupid and hold on to this until I definitely, you know, maybe I can just get another transient and switch the train. I, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's, it's hard. I have to go downstairs and see, see how this goes inside because it just, <coughs> it's the diameter. It's, it's the diameter is pretty big. Oh, shoot. Oh, my luck, right? The diameter, the diameter, it's, it's, it's pretty big. It's, it's, it's off. It's off a little bit, that's for sure. All right, guys, so subscribe, like, dislike. I will come up with the final thoughts and final review with this. I uh, I will run them on a vehicle, and I will also uh, install them just to do a review on uh, YouTube and, uh, you know, see if I'm happy with it or not, all right? Take care, guys. Subscribe, like, dislike, whichever you prefer.